Hi folks, welcome to my Bit Retro Journal. This is a quick clip, five minutes or less. Um, uh, these are two glues that you see in front of you that uh, actually have sort of settled down over the years. I like Loctite uh, for most things that need sort of flexible strength and crazy glue for more rigid strength. Now, I've used other types of things. I've tried epoxy because um, I thought this would be the 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 best thing but I, I keep being disappointed in it that it doesn't stick as well as crazy glue and it just always comes off and this is devcon i've also tried jb weld and for the um other type of glue e6000 the problem is i think this is tackier and it goes on much more uh, liquidy and really seals better so i've given up on that i've seen videos um pop up on youtube where people use crazy glue with uh, baking soda and i actually can see that working because it's almost like mixing uh concrete where you have the the mix with the cement and uh but the problem is if you're you know i'm, I'm a sinkler so a big fan of sinkler computers they're black and so that doesn't really look good with with the white stuff uh that you end up with but i i've, I've recently seen videos where people use uh, graphite and you can see right here i have some graphite uh and so i wanted to try that with crazy glue to see how strong it is and i've actually already done a little bit of that let me show you what i've done I've got this um, piece of plastic where I cut two notches out and then I glued them here and here and this is um, the, the the Loctite and this and so I had two straight edges uh, and just meshed uh, squeezed them together and here I created a v-shape to fill it with Loctite and then crazy glue on top it turns out that the crazy glue does not want to soak into the Loctite so here I put masking tape on not painter tape but masking tape and then I was able to push the crazy glue on here and and get it to soak in and it created a nice clean uh, edge let me zoom in on this really quick and you can see uh you know uh these are pretty strong so if i press on this it actually flexes the plastic and the same goes here um so what i want to do next is just test both of these to see which is stronger i suspect this is stronger but i wanted to do a test so let me set up the test and come back okay i've got a plastic bag and i've got some books and i'm going to hang the and uh, put a slot uh in here so i'm going to hang it in, into the little notches first book is going to be um tim hartnell's time mix and clear 1000 so let's just give it a try and see what happens the one closer to me is the um crazy glue let's try that all right that works All right, small book works. Next, we have a uh, Sinclair Q on Companion, slightly larger book. Again, I'll try the crazy glue first. And it's shaking, but it, it's solid. Let's try this. Oh, it's kind of flex. Yep, yeah, it already broke. Okay. So. Okay, couldn't stand with that. So let's let's continue on with we have a bigger book. All right, that's working. An even bigger book, a small C compiler. This is pretty heavy. I think this is gonna break it. No, it's just sliding off because it's bending the plastic, but it's actually not breaking it. Yep, it's pretty impressive, and it's yanking it around. Okay, slightly heavier book, uh, Xenu, the uh, operating system book. Let me just try that. Wow, that's pretty strong. Okay, for the final one, I just both of them. So two heavy books. I think this is going to break it. Let's give it a try. Uh, did not break it. Okay, I think the uh, graphite is the way to go. So um, that's really all I wanted to show. Um, this is still solid and it's actually bending the plastic. So that's a really solid fix and it's nice and clean. I'm going to end here. Um, uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.